we tried some football hospitality at the Camp Nou, home of FC Barcelona. Arrived a couple of hours before kickoff and at the same time as a huge crowd gathering to greet the players. Continuing on our walk around the outside of the stadium, we made our way to the ticket office with the chance to take a couple of photos ahead of the match versus Villarreal. Gates opened 90 minutes before kickoff, so we got our e-tickets at the ready and they were checked by staff as we made our way through. There was then a short walk around the outside of the 66-year-old stadium and to the very impressive club shop. And a recommendation, if you are planning to have a look around, get there early because it does get very busy ahead of kickoff. Then it was back outside to continue our look around and we did spot a statue of Johan Cruyff. Really lively outside the ground ahead of kickoff with parades and live music. Then with about an hour and 15 minutes to go until kickoff, it was off to the Berlin Lounge. Still quite busy at this point and there was a small queue getting inside the lounge, but the red carpet was a nice touch. E-tickets at the ready again, which were scanned as we made our way in and we did receive a hospitality wristband. Then it was up a few steps and into the Sala Berlin Lounge. A modest sized lounge and by the time we entered it was already pretty busy with space for around 250 people in total. Loads of fresh food stations throughout the lounge and good news, it's all unlimited. After checking out everything on offer, we went for one of the cheese and meat empanadas. Found a standing table and tucked in. Not bad, but there were plenty more things to try. One of the counters was serving Iberian ham, which looked really tasty. Might have had a couple of plates of this. Polished off the cured meat, then it was back up to one of the buffets. And not sure what they're called, but we went for one of these bread and meat snacks. And again, these were pretty good as well. Throughout our time inside the lounge, there were a good selection of unlimited drinks and a good idea to grab a couple of drinks before the match because the lounge does shut as the match starts with no access at full time. Grab the drink, then off to find another unreserved table, then watch some of the pre-match coverage on one of the big screen TVs. And unless you're really short, there isn't a view of the pitch. Before making our way to our seat ahead of the match, we tried some more food. This time we went for some paella. The paella was tasty, but the pick of the courses for us were the king prawns, which were really good. Another nice touch and adding to the pre-match atmosphere, there was live music inside the lounge. And to finish off the evening snacks and before heading out to our seat, we did try one of these wraps, as well as an Iberian ham and brie sandwich. Another recommendation would be to leave the lounge about 15 minutes ahead of kickoff, which will give you enough time to make your way to the VIP balcony seating area. And it is a fairly long walk, so it might be a good idea to ask staff if you're heading in the right direction. It was then up and down a few steps and to an allocated padded seat. Tickets inside the Sala Berlin lounge were from 129 euros, depending on the fixture, through Champions Travel and this was for the 21-22 season. And finally, a question for you guys. Where should we go for the next padded seat?